Hey there everyone, and welcome back to Security Chris. In today's video, we're diving deep into the world of multi-factor authentication, or MFA, and exploring why it's an absolute must for anyone concerned about their online security. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get started. In this video, we'll discuss why MFA is important, who should use MFA, what to do if a platform doesn't offer MFA, examples of MFA protection, and common MFA methods. First, let's tackle why multi-factor authentication is crucial. You see, in the age of ever-increasing cyber threats, relying solely on a password for your online accounts is like leaving the front door to your house wide open. MFA adds an extra layer of security. It's like having a deadbolt lock, a security camera, and an alarm system for your digital life. Even if someone steals or guesses your password, they won't get far without the additional verification. Now, who should use MFA? The short answer, everyone. Whether you're a casual internet user or business professional, MFA is a must. Hackers and cyber criminals don't discriminate. They target anyone with valuable information or access to sensitive data. Protecting your email, social media, bank accounts, and work-related platforms with MFA is a simple yet powerful way to safeguard your digital identity. But what if a platform you use doesn't offer multi-factor authentication? Unfortunately, not all services support MFA. In such cases, there are a few things you can do. First, contact the platform and request MFA support. Many companies are receptive to user feedback and may implement MFA in the future. In the meantime, consider using strong, unique passwords and change them regularly. Additionally, be cautious about the information you share on those platforms. Now let's dive into some real-world examples to illustrate the importance of MFA. Imagine someone gets hold of your password. Without MFA, they can access your email and read sensitive messages, break into your bank account, potentially draining your savings, post on your social media accounts, damaging your reputation, and gain access to your work-related apps, compromising sensitive company data. That's it for today's video. I hope you found this information helpful. Remember, multi-factor authentication is a powerful tool in the fight against cyber threats. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video.